Good morning, Rock Church, my brothers and sisters on YouTube and Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Lewis Stevenson, and it is Marvelous Monday. That's right. This is Marvelous Monday, brothers and sisters. This is another day that the Lord has made. Man, we are in, actually it's November the 21st, 2022. Where's time gone, brothers and sisters? It ain't waiting on nobody, that's for sure. I thank God that he has us a part of his plan. That being said, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you on this marvelous Monday. We thank you for another day that you've given us life and breath and everything else. God, I pray that our hearts will be receptive to your word this morning. I pray, God, that we will embrace what you have to say to us. Thank you, Father, for giving us the word of God. Hallelujah. God, I do desire that everyone on the sound of my voice, God, will continue to go after your word every day. Thank you, God, for speaking to us. May your rebel word go forth now in the name of Jesus. Let God's people say amen. All right, I see y'all on. Okay, all right, we in. So listen, I have just uh, uh, this little two-part series that we're going to do uh, today. And we did one yesterday. Yesterday, we was talking about being the example and setting an example for one another as Christians. Today, we're going to be talking about setting an example uh, to the world. That's right. You know, it's always good to start at home first. It's good to start at home. Take, take care of your business first. And, you know, I was talking to a brother yesterday. He encouraged me just kind of just uh, he was inspired by what we should be doing as Christians, how we should be taking care of one another. Ain't that the truth, though? Man, if we don't take care of one another, who's going to take care of us? You know, if we're going to be fighting each other and we Christians, man, man, that that is not what God desired for his children. And so I, I just pray that we continue to set an example for the believers in those areas that we talked about yesterday. So this morning, we're going to talk about setting an example for the world. Yeah, the world. And, and, and I don't know. I want to ask you this question. Do you feel as though you are a pace setter for the world? Or you are a person who, you know, don't want conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a person who rather not, you know, associate in the, in the sense of the world? Like, you don't want to befriend them. Yeah. Are you scared? Are you scared to be that example for the world? Do you feel like you're going to get persecuted be, because you are... Uh, living this life that God's called you to live to set examples in love, speech, and all that other stuff and righteousness. Yeah. See, the world that we live in, brothers and sisters, I don't know if you've taken a good glimpse of it, but it's not like it used to be. Yeah. From the politicians, from the resources, and, you know, living our life today, gas prices under this recession. Look at the gas prices. Man, go into the grocery stores, a gallon of milk. Look at the price of a gallon of milk. A thing, of, a pound of bacon. Look at the prices at a pound of bacon, a dozen of eggs. We're not living <laughs> in the world that we used to, plentiful, so to speak. That means that we, we need to be something for this world. We need to set an example so that the world, oh brothers and sisters, listen to me can embrace the word of God. We're not doing this so that they can embrace us. We're doing this as an ambassador to the word of God. So as we look at the Ramah word found on this marvelous Monday, we're looking at Matthew 5, uh, verse 16. Jesus says, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. Do you mean to tell me that if people see our good deeds, they can, they will actually glorify God? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. If people see the good in you, man, they will give God glory. I have to believe this passage. I have to believe the fact that before Jesus even described, was talking about this one verse, he says, hey, man, he says, hey, something that needs to be told. In Matthew 5, 13, he says, but... If you are the salt of the earth, it says you are the salt of the earth. 
But if you, if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It no longer good for anything except to be thrown and trampled under the foot. You are the light of the world. A tower built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people put a light lamp under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. So Jesus was speaking to the disciples of being who they are. And we all know, you know, salt is meant to be salty. That's right. But if it's worthless, we move it on out. We throw it on out. Light to, hey, hey, to illuminate so that people can see. That's what this is all about. So Jesus going on say, hey, you the salt of the earth. Come on, man. We're we here to make a difference. We're here to bring seasoning in a way to people's lives. Hey, man, listen, we're here to illuminate this beautiful light of, of the goodness of God that we have decided to be what God called us to be and have the personality and character like Jesus. And so he goes on and tell them, say, look, even though, hey, man, you may be persecuted for being the light, he said, but let it shine anyway. The word of God tells us clearly, he said, let this word shine. Hey, man, don't you not know when you let your light shine before others, people will persecute you. People will say things to you, man, that try to discourage you. And I'm telling you, man, there are judges out here, but embrace the judging. That's okay. Hey, we all fall short. Embrace the judging. Judging go happen. Embrace it. Oh, I thought you were supposed to be all of this. You're supposed to be a godly person. You're supposed to go to church all the time, but this is how you are. That's okay. Embrace that because guess what? Get better with what you're displaying to people. People only respond based on how we display things. Come on, somebody. If you don't display foul, man, accept your foul judgment. <laughs> if you don't display, man, honorable, hey, guess what? People will glorify God based on the scripture. The scripture says so. But Jesus, hey, look, say, hey, look, being Christ-like going to bring persecution. People going to snub their nose at your righteousness. The Bible said this. In Matthew 5, 11, 12, says, blessed are, blessed are you when people insult you. That's right. Persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Wow. You're blessed if people do that. Don't you fight people. You know what I mean? Don't go tit for tat. No. Set an example. For the world to see. The Bible says rejoice and be glad. Because great is your reward in heaven. You may not feel like <laughs> there's a reward in heaven. But I am telling you if we rejoice in those who persecute us for being righteous. We rejoice because we are honoring God. You decide not to lie. You decide not to cheat. You decide not to cut corners when you could have. You decide to tell the truth on your taxes. Come on, somebody. You say, I don't want to hold the government. I'm going to lie a little bit. Don't you lie. I am telling you, man, stand up for what is right because you're an example to the world. He says, hey, man, something is happening. It's a reward in heaven. He says, for in the same way they persecuted the prophet who were before you. There's people before us being persecuted, brothers and sisters. But yet, come on, somebody. We are called to display all, oh, my, 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 what God has given us to the world. So I want to ask you, are you ready to release your faith on this marvelous Monday, knowing that we are to be an example to the world? Now, look. You know I believe in KISS. That means keep it simple, saints. It's not rocket science. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do exactly what Jesus explained. He says, no one light a lamp just to hide it under a basket. A light is meant to be placed on a stand to give light to everything around it. Whether you are timid or not, or whether your person don't like conflict or not, you are called to be the light to the world. Now, how can I do that? How can I be a light to the world? Okay, number one, you want to get this down now. Be friendly. It's time for us, the body of Christ, just to be friendly. In other words, hey, man, don't forget to say hello to people. People walk past you. Just speak to them. I don't care if you're in your mask or not. Say hello. 
It's time for us, the body of Christ, to be friendly to people. And people, man, I know people feel in some kind of way, but every time I talk to somebody, man, I break that defense mechanism that they have. Because people were created by God for God to be relational. Number two, don't judge. Don't judge people. Come on, brothers and sisters, don't judge them. Hey, man, the world need to know they already beat down. They don't even know that they being beat down by the enemy. Don't judge them. Speak the truth to them in love. Be patient with them. Be kind to them. Number three, let's help others. Let's help the world, man. Let's be able to give the world some of our time. Man, what is it that we need to do, man? We need to volunteer some of our service. Hey, man, your talent, what God has given you, what kind of gift has he impressed in you when he sold you together in your mother's womb? He gave you talent. How do we use that talent to help the world and our treasure? Man, listen here, we got resources. How do we embrace these resources to touch the world? Brothers and sisters, man, listen, I am, I am convinced that if we do these things, we are sharing light. Man, we having a Thanksgiving giveaway on Thanksgiving Day at 10 o'clock. We're going to meet at the ministry. We pack up our cars and we're going to go out to the, we're going to go out right in the city of Chicago that we identify and we're going to give people something to eat. Come on, man. Number four, share your optimism and your gratitude with others. The world needs to see that you have hope. The world need to see, guess what, man? There's a positive. You're a positive person. Don't always be negative. Have a good attitude. Because a lot of time, a lot of Christians, man, you know, that is said that you, you, don't, you don't act like you're a Christian because you ain't happy. You're always negative. No, let's not be that way. Let's, let's show people in the world that there's hope for their future. I am telling you, I'm standing before you because I've seen hope through my brother and my other family members before I was a Christian. They showed me hope before I got saved. I was full of alcohol, I was full of drugs, I was full of cocaine. They showed me that there was a better way. They didn't judge me. They showed me there was a better way. And that way was Jesus, and he still is the way. And he's the only way to the Father. And number five, become the chain. That we want to see in others. Yes, y'all. Let us become the change that we want to see in others. The only way to let your light shine, we have to become the change. We can't make somebody change. We become the change that we want to see others do. That means we get involved in their lives. We're willing to sit down and break some bread with them. Brothers and sisters, this is what Jesus is saying. This is, this is all about what the light that we have received. We are shining ever so brightly. And I'm telling you, it's going to be said, well done, a good and faithful servant. If we take these principles and put them in practice, I thank God that I've seen what it was like to be a Christian model for me before I became in Christ. Let us be that model for the world. That's all God is telling us. And guess what? People are going to get God glory. My brothers and sisters, I pray that this was encouraging to you. Don't you let your light be dimmed because of being scared and timid. It's already written. They will get God glory if you're willing to be that light on that hill. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you on this marvelous Monday. We celebrate life this day. We celebrate life, God, that you lit us up with the word. Yes, sir. God, I pray that we will walk and illuminate this word in areas, God, that we will be friendly to people. Oh, God, I pray that our mannerisms will be acceptable. And God, to let people know that they're, they're, they're not, they're not uh, invisible, but they're present, God. May, may we do that. May we be ones that don't judge a book by its cover. Regardless of what they look like, what they sound like, God, we will love them conditionally, unconditionally. God, help us to help others by way of sharing our time and, and our talent and our treasure with them, God. We don't have to know them, God. God, I pray that the seeds that you tell us to, to plant, God, that you allow them to grow, they are harvest, and that we will share our optimism with people and how, how, we, are, how we have gratitude because what you have done, you've given us hope. You give us a future. Hallelujah. You help us to have positive attitudes. God, I thank you that the world, 
God is waiting to see the people of God to be the change that they want to become. Oh, God, I pray that we will be out there. God, we will see it. God, thank you that every day we get to express, God, what this, this walk of faith really is like. God, it's just shining light ever so brightly. God, let us not put this light into a bowl. Let us not cut this light off, but let it, God, shine ever so brightly in all that we do. Thank you, God, for helping us to understand we are truly the light of the world. Oh, God, we love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed. Come on, somebody. This is Marvelous Monday, and I believe the truth will set us free as well as we know that light will shine ever so brightly. Let your light shine today and forevermore. Know that this, that God is sending ambassadors out there with flashlights. Come on, somebody, so that they can see. Oh, I love you all. God's blessings upon each and every one of you all. May this marvelous Monday be a reflection of the word of God illuminated in you, in, in you that is going to go out of you. Come on, somebody. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all.